It's Tuesday, March 26th, and Tampa Lacks Report is at Steinbrenner High School as they host the undefeated Wiregrass Bulls in a game to determine the top seed heading into District 15 playoffs. Due to equipment issue, we join the action at the beginning of the second quarter with Steinbrenner up 1-0. Wiregrass goalie Caleb Embry with a stop at the doorstep. Embry again with the stop, this time on a shot from Preston Smith. Working from X is Steinbrenner's Johnny Kindle. He gets stuffed by the hot Embry. The Bulls' Zachary Swartz finds an open Mark Chacon who dodges and scores to tie the game at one. Zachary Schwartz with the split dodge, but gets hung up on what certainly appears to be an easy hold call, but no flag. Shot is saved by Steinbrenner's Nick Favada. This play continues without a whistle or flag, despite the high hit here. Two baffling no calls back to back. A dodging Xavier Williams draws a slide, then gets by both to have hands clear for a shot and goal. It's two to one Warriors. Steinbrenner's Christian Donnell working here. Power cradles through and to the goal and scores to put his team up 3 1. Steinbrenner sends one to the box after a cross check call. Then sends another immediately afterward. Wiregrass now with a two man advantage. Two minutes, two minutes Sean O'Brien feeds Michael Perrone for the EMO goal. Wiregrass down by one. Perrone again with the ball. This time takes a slash below the knee, flag down. He dumps to Sean O'Brien who scores to tie us at three. The flag is waved off, another confusing call. Jeremiah Lou scores to put Wiregrass up 4-3. Assist by O'Brien. This is quite a game at halftime. Goal, Wiregrass. And just defensively, keep playing aggressive. Keep putting a hand touch on their hands. We've got to keep making them uncomfortable on deep. Nine doesn't want it, fellas. Corbin, get out, touch his hands. Anytime he gets near the ball, get out, touch his hands. Bro, he chokes Same every thing time. on the other side, okay? I don't know and I don't want to see that big kid coming through again and scoring some goal because he literally is like a bowling ball that you can't stop. Woo! Step in front of him and make him run you over. Make him run you over. He will drop the ball. He does not have the cradle skills. Okay? The second half was a little bumpier for both teams. Here, Mark Chacon drops the ball on a dodge. It gets scooped up by Jack Shear, and Shear takes off. He ends up going coast to coast, tie the game. And by bumpier, I meant sloppier. Wiregrass earns the face-off win, but the initial pass hits the ground. O'Brien's pass also bounces its way to Caleb Rush, who is able to salvage the play. Sometimes the balls bounce in your favor. Wiregrass up, 5-4. Steinbrenner's Williams here with a shot. Turned aside by Embry. Embry kept this game close tonight. Jack Shear takes a shot towards the net. Again, saved by Embry. Preston Smith with a quick ground ball and shot, but Embry's there to close out the third quarter. Early in the fourth, Steinbrenner pulls even with a Brendan Dugnan goal. Assist by Xavier Williams. Putting the Warriors up again is Smith to Dugnan. It's 6-5, Steinbrenner. Great shot here by Shear, but his shot ricochets off the far post. A quick turnaround shot by Christian Donnell is deflected by Embry and somehow managed to stay out of the goal. Wiregrass's Corbin Schwinkner finds an open Sean O'Brien for O'Brien's second goal of the night, and we are tied at six. Goal, Wiregrass. Preston Smith here dodging from X. He shoots. He scores. Steinbrenner back on top. Steinbrenner, goal. 
Jake Folk books an assist when he finds Shear for Steinbrenner's second goal in a row. Warriors by two late. Off the faceoff, Mark Chacon adds a ground ball to his stat book and races towards the goal. He scores to put the Bulls within one. Matty Wyatt with a shot, saved by Embry. Jacob Mollahan, also from X. He is also denied. And to tie us at eight is Wiregrass's O'Brien as he books a hat trick. In one of Embry's few mistakes of the night, he overshoots a clear. The ball is picked up by a determined Michael Bing. Bing runs with purpose, past Bulls players who look uninterested. He'll pass to Dugnan, who buries the go-ahead goal. Wiregrass has a minor opportunity with about 10 seconds left. Unfortunately, the pass does not find its target. And that's the game. Your final score, Steinbrenner 9, Wiregrass 8. The Steinbrenner Warriors are the number one seed heading into District 15 playoffs. Wiregrass is the second seed. Perhaps we'll see a rematch of these two teams April 17th for the district finals. In the stat box for Wiregrass, Sean O'Brien with three goals, three assists. Mark Chacon with two goals. Michael Perrone, Jeremiah Liu, and Caleb Rush, each with one goal. Great goaltending by Caleb Embry. For Steinbrenner, Bennett Dugdon with three goals. Jack Shear and Christian Donnell each with two goals. Xavier Williams and Preston Smith, each with one goal and assist. 